Well, hello. My name is Krendel, and for the last 10 years, I've been touring the world performing. I've appeared in over 20 states here in the U.S., as well as 17 countries, countless cities, and well, the list goes on. Appearing in front of over a million people in my career and still counting. And for the most part, my life has looked like this. And then, after averaging 300 shows per year for the last 10 years, going non-stop on March 12, 2020, as it was for so many other people around the world, my life came to a crashing halt. And when the pandemic and shutdowns first started, I was glued to the TV, reading articles, watching news coverage, trying to make sense of it all. And as the days turned to weeks and the weeks turned to months, I began to realize that my new normal started looking a lot like this. Hello, this is Crindle. Oh, hi. Yeah, for uh, March 15th. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll look it up for you. Oh, you're needing to, you're needing to cancel. Yeah, because of COVID? Hello, this is Crendel. Oh, oh yeah, for, for March 25th. Oh, you're needing to cancel? They're shutting you down? Oh, I understand. <sighs> Hello, this is Crendel. Hello, this is Crendel. Hello, this is Crendel. Oh, man. Crindle's canceling service, how can I help you? Yeah, no, I, I knew you were calling to cancel, so is everyone else today. And it's totally fine because of COVID, I understand. Gah! Which then led to days like this. <sighs> and then it led to days like this. And finally, I hit bottom because eventually my day started looking like this. My next magic trick, I'll make it disappear. Ta da! And, well, while that was pretty much rock bottom for me, uh, I, after having my pity party, I dusted myself off and got back into the swing of things. You know, I'm actually thankful for the pandemic. I've never had the opportunity to just 
breathe and rethink my life and rethink about things that are maybe missing in my life and things that I could add. And that's where this channel comes into existence. You know, since the pandemic, I've actually got to spend more time with my son than ever because I'm always on the road. And now I get to help him with his homework on a daily basis and be with him. Another thing is I've been able to study and read and develop a lot of thoughts and projects that just were never going anywhere until I became unemployed, <laughs> which I still am as the point of the time of this recording. <laughs> so, of course, I did what any reasonable person would do. I packed all of my belongings at my entire headquarters and warehouse and moved it 12 hours away and bought a church. That's actually right now where I am. I've converted this church into a place of creating passion projects and I can't wait to get into them. This is, by the way, is the first of all of them. This channel is called CTC. It stands for Create, Transform, and Connect. It has been my entire philosophy and passion through all of my performing in creating meaning with what I do, transform people's emotions, and connect with people. And while there have been some benefits through this pandemic that I've been able to find through slowing down, connecting with family and friends, the biggest hole right now in my heart is the connection part. And so, for the first time in my life, I've cast away all other problems and I'm just focusing on this. I've invested all my time, money, and resources into creating this channel. So I hope today that you do take the time to click the subscribe button, click the like. You guys know these drills on YouTube. It's what allows something like this to start connecting and growing around the world. So I hope you take the time. But before we leave, there's always gonna be assignments along the way. That's the whole point of this journey. We'll be talking about how to find your bliss, uh, meditation skills, breathing techniques, uh, how to deal with anxiety and stress. There's so many topics that we're gonna be diving into and I hope to shed some light, some help, some comfort, and more importantly, some fun along the way. Uh, being that I am an illusionist and magician by trade, uh, there'll be some magic and some fun along the way, of course. So I hope you stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, the first start to any journey I feel is gratitude. You know, looking at all of the media, the social media, the news, and just listening to people in everyday life, it's always about, screw 2020, I can't wait for it to be over, it's the worst year ever, it's the worst, it's the worst, it's the worst. That's the wrong mindset, it always has been. We still have to find good in the chaos that exists around us. For me, it was my son, being able to be with him on an intimate level in a bonding way that I've never had in my life yet. I'm thankful for the fact that I'm able to create and develop new projects. I'm working on a book, developing new video series, and it's all because of this slowdown in my life that I never would have had otherwise. So I encourage you and hope that you'll play along and add in the comments below. Please share some gratitude. Share with me something that you're thankful for that this pandemic has brought on, that has shown something positive that you can start with to build with. We all need a little happiness in our lives, but it's up to us to provide it. So to close things off for this episode, I wanted to share something with you as well uh, that provided a lot of inspiration for me. It's for one of my favorite poets of all time. Uh, he's actually the one who got me into writing. He's a contemporary poet. His name is Shane Coison. And in fact, I linked this quote that I'm going to give you. I linked it in the description below. You can check out the whole piece. Right. How to be a person is the title of the track and how fitting that is for a video series like this. And towards the end of it, he says, try. Even the tiniest dream that you try to make happen is better than the biggest dream you never attempt. That meant a lot to me. I hope it means something to you. Thank you for taking the time to spend it with me. I hope to see you in the next episode.